Ladies and gentlemen and everybody between, welcome back to the continuation of the over-analysis of Dropsy, a real game of the year contender. Since the last video, our boy Dropsy here has got a job working for a mysterious industrialist who makes some sort of magic cream puffs or whoopie pies or whatever they are. So anyway, we have to go to where he's building what appears to be a big top. But first, yes, a hug, this ice cream sandwich, or maybe it's an oatmeal cream pie. I'm not sure, but I'm getting hungry. So after that hugging's out of the way, let's go see what our mysterious industrialist wants out of our clown friend here. Oh look, he appears to be happy to see Dropsy. I mean, who wouldn't be happy to see Dropsy with a face like this? Who couldn't love him? Anyway, our little green-bearded friend here is interested in seeing what Dropsy's animal companions can do. So let's watch. Yeah, the dog's kind of impressive. I mean, that takes some talent right there. Now what about the mouse? You know, it's kind of like a seal. I suppose that's adorable. It's Well, now there's only the bird left. I wonder what it has to offer. Bird, sweetie. Seems like you're kind of phoning it in. Oh, well. But apparently this impresses our mysterious friend, dear, who wants drops you to come back in the morning after having a good night's sleep. And oh yeah, he also has a present for our clown friend. You want to guess what it is? That's right, Dropsy's just won a car! It looks a lot like his bed. It has a mouth and everything. And also, Dropsy's a man of his own will. He ain't listening to no mysterious green-bearded industrialist. No, no, no. We got things to do tonight. We gotta figure out what happened to our bird friend's mama. Yeah, the one trapped in the mine from earlier well last video so the car is essentially the fast travel system for this game you can go anywhere you've already visited before but if you've never visited it you gotta walk on foot to discover it just like lewis and clark but enough explanations of gameplay mechanics let's get back to the game so first drops has got to figure out how to get this mine opened and well the key's not here no instead he has to go to the mysterious airport graveyard but first he's got to get his mouse buddy to open up this little barricade thing right here because Dropsy refuses to walk around it. I guess he's a man of the law. It's clearly closed, but hey, if the mouse opens it, that means he's free to go in. Although he did pretty brazenly steal that mysterious whoopie pie, but hey, it was because his friend was sick, so yeah, different circumstances. Oh well. Dropsy's an innocent little boy. But unfortunately, the item he needs isn't here, so instead, no, he does have to sleep out in the wilderness like a homeless person. But yeah, now he can go back and have his bird buddy steal the key from this key rack that opens the mine. Why is the key here? I don't know, but apparently this lady owns it because she doesn't leave it here at night and then she puts it up here. I don't know what she's doing. She's probably got her own troubles to deal with and we'll eventually get around to hugging her. But first we open up the mine and oh my goodness, there's a lot you need in here actually. See this area over here? With all this dirt? You need to have your doggy dig up every single last bit of dirt here. And I'm serious, if you don't, you're kind of effed in the A without even knowing it. But with that said, let's go see if we can find our bird buddy's mama. Oh hey, there's a crate here. Oh, let's open it. Oh, oh dear. Um. Yeah. Unless there's a pet cemetery somewhere. I, I think she's dead. What type of sicko just leaves a dead bird in a cage? Good lord. Of course we're gonna give this bird a good burial. It was a mother, damn it. So naturally we go down to the graveyard because that's where you bury things and, well, we give this mama a proper send-off. And I'll oh, dropsy. You just do sweet, do sweet. So on that somber note, Dropsy can go to sleep and, well, visit mysterious industrialist in the morning. Hopefully no more tragedy will befall him. Oh my, what are you doing, doggy? No. Oh. Oh, come on, dog. Oh, my God. Yeah, his dog likes to pee on so Oh, come on, I fell in. <sighs> Gosh, darn it. All right, Dropsy, we gotta save your doggy, too. So go back to the mine and... Oh, yeah, you can't really open it. But fortunately, there's this mysterious thing on the ground that we picked up. And hey, we show it to this guy who's just hanging out here in front of the record store. And he knows all about this mysterious thing. It turns out it's one of the levers that you can use to pull down the, I guess, locked door, like the vault or whatever. But hey, he only gives us one of them. We need to find the other one. And oh my goodness, it appears that it belongs to his brother. So we need to find his brother in the mysterious land of Thor and vampires. Right over here in the furthest point west in the map. 
Just like in real life, Dropsy can't travel to a place he's never been before without going there first. Yeah, no, pretty deep, huh? Anyway, Dropsy can't pass by this little bridge guardian, I'm gonna call her, because, well, she's not sure if he isn't Dracula. Now, I know Dropsy's a lot of things, but I don't think you really confuse him for Dracula. Nevertheless, fortunately for Dropsy, his little dog of buddy dug up this little Thorish symbol norse thing and she's like oh cool you're fine you can pass i guess it's the dropsy's universe equivalent of a cross although crosses still exist so hey north symbols and crosses keep vampires away a good to know in the future so our delightful little clown protagonist here has made his way out to the mysterious island of Norse gods and vampires. Delightful indeed. And he makes his way into this temple where he talks to the priestess about the dude brother, or maybe it's his lover. I don't know, they do look an awful lot alike, so it'd be kind of creepy if they were lovers, but hey, everything's open to interpretation. Nevertheless, she informs him that he's on some island somewhere. So our boy Dropsy here's got to figure out how to get on the island. Oh, lo and behold, there's a boat here. But oh gosh darn it, it just doesn't work. Fortunately though, nearby there's a group of ladies. They're in a band, and one of them appears to be fixing a truck. So maybe we can get them to fix the boat. But oh no, we can't because they got problems. Of course they got problems. It's an adventure game. You gotta solve everyone's problems. You're basically a go-getter. So essentially, they need to find a gig. So I guess Dropsy's now getting into the music business. Now, I always knew music executives were clowns, so I guess Dropsy will fit right in. So it's pretty simple, actually, to get a gig for these fine ladies. Essentially, all you have to do is go to the record shop, play their compact disc which fortunately they give you and the guy's like wow this is the most amazing music i've ever heard i want to give them a show and that's it you go back and tell them and they're like wow great and then you get to go to the show and because of weird youtube music laws and people who own rights to music i can't actually have you listen to any of the music so i'll simulate it yeah we're a band we play amazing music everybody loves us look at this crowd of three people i know three people that doesn't seem very impressive but then when you realize there's only about maybe 20 people in this whole town they basically got maybe 10 percent of the whole population to come out to their show that's pretty good so yeah with that done this lady will gladly fix your boat give you a little handshake and life can carry on oh yeah now i gotta go to that crazy dude's island now this dude's really freaked out about vampires so can vampires not use boats i'm not really caught up on my vampire lore but it doesn't matter we're here now and what we need to do is pretty simple we basically need to scare the pajitas out of this poor man because believe it or not he's kind of a sourpuss he wishes his brother would be dead yeah, look at that him equals grave gosh that's pretty explicit right there so yeah turn off the power and then we gotta scare the bejesus out of this guy how do we do that well we dress up like a vampire makes perfect sense so now that the dude's too terrified to be in his own house we can basically loot it and all we really need is the picture of his brother on the wall here that we basically just go back to the dude's brother show him the picture and he's like oh my god take me to my brother so that's it then we take him to his brother and oh my goodness i guess he doesn't hate him anymore oh what a touching reunion they've made up and we also made out with another lever to open up the mine which will do huzzah drops it can save his doggy it's a wonderful world he lives in just wonderful so yeah we're in the mines now and pretty much all we need to do is use our mouse friend and our bird friend to navigate a complex series of mazes until we can eventually make it over to where the doggy's at and then send him to the junkyard it's great now we have to go to the junkyard. We've been there before. So clearly we should have no problem getting past this dude. Oh yeah, there's problems. Turns out the king guy ain't happy with what he's eating. So we have to fetch a bunch of random objects. It's not too hard to find them. You just gotta look around the map until he's happy. And oh look, he's happy. Yay, now we can go in and save our doggy friend. What a touching reunion. <laughs> I wish someone would hug and love me like Dropsy loves his animal friends. I said, let me try. Well, now that Comrade Dog is back, we can go back to the mysterious industrialist and put on a show for him. And he absolutely loves it. Wow. Well, now we can go home. And oh, look, our clown buddy. He's all healed up. Wow, the industrialist didn't betray us at all. Fantastic. Oh, wait. He appears to have something to tell us. All right, let's go to his mysterious shed. Hopefully nothing too sinister will happen here. Oh my God, he's spilling the beans about everything. Turns out. Dropsy was an alien found by the blue haired girl. And this clown buddy was the blue haired girl's boyfriend, husband? Who knows? We'll go with husband. So these two were like married and they found Dropsy, who's an alien, and they raised him as their own. Oh my god, this clown's been our father all along. And that was our mother who died in the fire. Oh my goodness, this is a very tragic game. No wonder you want so much love, Dropsy. You have a big void in your heart to fill after your mom burned alive. 
Oh no, so beautiful. Oh my goodness, uh oh, when the evil robots found the shed. Well, that's why you should lock the door when you're done. <sighs> well, I wonder what's going to happen now. Well, everything seems to be fine upon waking up, except our little animal companions. They're not here to greet us like they normally would. Huh. So anyway, Dropsy makes his way outside where the mysterious gentleman's like, Hey, your animal friends, they're down by the new big top. Meet me over there. They're waiting for you. So naturally, we make a line right over there and, well, there's a lot of strange pictures with Dropsy having a lighter in the gas tank. I wonder if that's a reference to the intro movie. But no, 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 no. Dropsy didn't have anything to do with that. Nah, he's a huggable, lovable clown who just wants to perform for the people. And that's what he's about to do. Oh boy, I can't wait for the climactic performance with him and its animal friends. It should be wonderful. God damn, what the hell you do to Dropsy? Don't tell me. No, no, not the bird. Please tell me they did it to the mouse. He did it to the mouse. What type of monster would do this? What the, what the, what the, what the crazy spaceman shot the mouse? What the? What's going on now? I don't know what's going on anymore. So Dropsy, no doubt, with a heavy heart, has to navigate through this world and find that bearded little murderer and show him what's up. By show him what's up, I mean give him a hug. Because that's how Dropsy... Oh, you shot Dropsy! What the hell's wrong with you? Why'd you shoot Dropsy? Why? He is the most lovable, sweetest, most sincere video game character, and you gotta shoot him like that. Just, just, go blood. Fucking monster. Just, just, just a man's a monster. You know, a part of me wants to think this whole sequence is real, that Dropsy's not dead. He is on that alien spaceship, a little circus in the sky, flying around with his animal buddies, being happy. This game got to me. That's it. I'm done. Okay, all kidding aside, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This game is arguably one of the best adventure games I've played all year. Definitely within the top three. It's fantastic. I don't think I've ever really experienced an adventure game that was able to convey a complex, emotional story without using any text or words. 
totally fantastic. I mean, there's still a lot of meat left on Dropsy's bones, because I did not even touch a fraction of the side quests, which basically involved trying to make other people happy. So there's still a good chunk of this game left that I've kind of cut out, because you know what? Dropsy deserves everyone's playthrough. At least everyone that likes adventure games, because it's fantastic. It's emotional. It's weird. It's bizarre. It's surreal. And I don't think I'm done with Dropsy yet. Maybe I'll make some more videos. Maybe I'll do a live stream. But maybe that's all for the future, because right now, folks, we're done. We're done with Dropsy. We're done with this fantastic hug venture. And ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between, I will see you next time. Goodbye.